Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my newborn essentials video. So I'm going to share with you everything that I found really helpful and essential for a newborn baby. So without further ado, let's get into it. So you will need one of these, a baby bath. So this is the Snuggle baby bath. You can just about see it here and we've got it in this lovely blue color. I think they've also got a white one, I think a pink one as well. Arthur really loves the bath, he can sit up quite well in that one as well, just how it's made, so I would definitely recommend that one. Another thing that I found useful and that you will have, and this will be useful for many months to come, maybe years, I'm not sure, but it's a nappy caddy. So this, I really like the look of it, we've got it on Amazon, I will link it below and I'll, I'll put everything below after. And it's just got three compartments in it, I don't know if you can see, so it's got one big one here and then two smaller ones here and uh, I would definitely recommend getting two so we keep one downstairs in our living room and then one upstairs in our bedroom where we change Arthur in the morning and at night. Obviously you'll need essentials like nappies etc so I don't want to state the obvious and maybe this is a bit of an obvious one but it's nappy cream. I just wanted to touch on it because I really like this one it's by Walida it's called Calendula Nappy Change Cream and it's made with all natural ingredients so it's really gentle on baby's skin so I would definitely recommend this one so that's it there hopefully you can see that there an essential that you definitely need for your baby is vitamin D drops if your baby is formula fed completely then they won't need these if they are combi fed then just check it out because it's it depends how many milliliters they have a formula because formula already contains vitamin D if you're completely breastfeeding then you would definitely need some of these. I've got these, they're by Nature's Aid and I've bought them in Holland and Barrow. I've also bought them from a website so I will try to find some and link them below. I would recommend stocking up your medicine cabinet with things for baby. So things like nasal drops which I've got here, I've just got the Culpol ones and also you'll definitely need baby Culpol, so paracetamol essentially because babies have their jabs at 8 weeks, 12 weeks and 16 weeks and the 8 and 16 weeks they have their meningitis B which is likely or could give the baby a temperature which obviously can be quite dangerous so they do advise you to give Carpol so definitely have some of that in. I would recommend getting in a big supply of cotton wool when a baby is first born they do recommend that you use purely water and cotton wool because that is the softest, most gentle thing for their newborn skin. I did that and then I did move on to wipes but I have found cotton wool really helpful for, I use it in the bath on his skin for getting in all the little crevices. I've also used it to wipe his eyes and clean behind the ears so definitely have some cotton wool because it's so soft so it's really gentle for their skin. Next up are thermometers, so I've got two different ones. As I mentioned, babies are likely to get a high temperature when they've had their vaccinations, so it's really helpful to have a thermometer to check their temperature, just to make sure that they're not getting too hot. This one also tells us the room temperature, which is really useful because I never realised how warm our room is until I tested it out using this, so that helped me decide how many blankets etc to put on the cot. We've also got this thermometer, this also te can test the temperature of the room but it's actually a water thermometer and again I was surprised at how hot the water felt by using this because I think otherwise if I hadn't have had a thermometer I probably would have made the bath water not warm enough, it does need to be surprisingly quite warm. Obviously you can test the temperature of the bath water, they say by dipping your elbow in it but I don't know, I would just rather have a thermometer and then I know for definite that it's the correct temperature. Everyone knows about muslins, how helpful they are, so this is another obvious one really, but definitely have plenty of muslins in. Not only are they good for mopping up sick and drool, but you can just use them for anything. So I've laid it out on the changing mat underneath his head if it's a bit cold, when he's a bit unsettled, just so that is not too much of a shock for him. I've mopped up a little bit of wee if it's got on the changing mat, obviously putting it straight in the wash afterwards. Some people also choose to use muslins as a cover if they want to be more discreet whilst breastfeeding. Personally I would see that as a bit of a faff but I know some people have found them helpful for that as well. So I've bought two packs of 10 from Asda and I think they were £10 each pack 
and then I also bought two large muslins from Mother Care before it shut down. They were reduced, a pewter rabbit, so it was a win-win for me. But yes, definitely get yourself some muslins. I mentioned a puddle pod in my Amazon haul. I can show you it now because Arthur is currently led on it downstairs. But a puddle pod, go and check out my video with the Amazon haul and you can see it in all its glory. And I'll also try and insert a clip here. But it's something that has been absolutely essential, probably more than anything else I'm mentioning in this video. Before Arthur was born, I wasn't sure how much we were going to use it. And before I bought it, I was thinking, if I needed to put the baby down, I was thinking, well, we can use the carry cot. I was thinking, but I'll probably be holding him a lot anyway, so I won't really, so I won't really need anything. However, it has come in so, so useful. Firstly, the pram carry cot is so large, it's too big, really, to keep in our front room. Also, when they're newborn, babies find that kind of open space not very pleasant and not very comfortable. The podopod kind of keeps them a little bit more cosy I suppose and I guess it mimics being held more than being in a carry cot or a pram or in the crib. So the podopod has really come in useful just if I need to pop him down, if I need to have my tea or I need to do something. It's not for sleeping in unassisted so I don't use it in his crib but I don't leave him in it unattended or anything like that but it's been really helpful I just have it on the settee next to me and I can just put him in it quickly and eat my tea with both hands which is definitely a bit of a win when I'm able to do that. Lastly I want to talk about some items that have been really useful for Arthur to play with so my mum-in-law bought him a play mat some weeks ago it was quite a long time ago but as he's gotten older he's got more and more into it and he really likes it it's come in really helpful actually obviously number one he enjoys it and for playtime but also it's a bit of a distraction so i can lay him on that put it next to me whilst i'm at the kitchen sink doing some washing up so i would definitely recommend getting the play mat but he loves bashing the toys it's got music and we can just use it for different things i sometimes don't even have the music on but the other two items which have been really good are a foil blanket and a disco light. And those three items together create a really nice sensory space. So I make a kind of den, so I have the playmat, Arthur's on the playmat, the foil blanket is kind of led over the top of the frame, and then I've got the disco ball. And that obviously lights up, it reflects off the foil, and it makes a really nice environment for the baby he really likes that he'll just lie there for ages he'll be kicking his legs furthermore the foil blanket rustles so sometimes i'll just pop that underneath his feet and he'll just kick his legs away and that'll keep him distracted for ages he loves it so this is the disco light that i've bought it was only about five pounds it's a bit noisy so if you can hear that it's got one setting but it's got three different colors and yeah you can also use it as a light projector in a darkened room so we have also used this sometimes when Arthur is a bit restless but unsettled but he kind of won't settle even by going on me. If we get him in a darkened room with this he will just be distracted. We've also got another one quite similar and it just calms him down for long enough to be able to then put him on the breast. This is the foil blanket. It's actually a thermal blanket. It was really cheap. It was only a couple of pounds from eBay. And it's pretty big, it's massive. As you can hear, it's really rustly. So it's quite loud. And if, if you lie your baby on that, hopefully they'll like it. But it's just another thing for them to play with. I haven't mentioned the big essentials because again, I thought that was fairly obvious. But that's things like the pram, the crib, and the car seat. So we've got an eye candy peach five pram and we really love that. It's not a travel system, so it doesn't come with a car seat, so we've bought that separately. We've got the Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix, which fits onto that pram base. We haven't used that yet, but that is helpful. If we just wanted to pop out of the car somewhere quickly, you can just put the car seat on top of the pram base. Our bedside crib is the snooze pod, and if you're interested, I am thinking of filming a video all about the snooze pod, kind of how we use it and talking about how Arthur finds it, how he was in the beginning with it and how he is now because he really likes it now. He is almost getting too long for it, I think, which is crazy. But yes, the snooze pod is our bedside crib of choice. 
So there we have it, those are my newborn essentials. Obviously these items will actually be useful for your baby as they get older, not just when they're newborn, but if you are expecting, congratulations if you are, but hopefully this video will give you some idea of the essential items that you need to make sure you have, hopefully before the baby arrives. Don't forget to subscribe for more baby videos, let me know in the comments below if you've got any more ideas of essential items because I'm sure other subscribers will find that really useful to read and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!